Hey everyone, Alice here and welcome to a weekly check-in, energy check-in reading here uh, where we're just going to see what is coming towards you, what's going on with an energy that's around you, like an energy that's attached to you, and see how people are feeling towards you potentially here. Uh, we will go by elements. You know, you can use however that is for you. You can go by zodiac signs if you want to. Uh, in terms of elements, sorry, do whatever you feel <laughs> intuitively. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do here today. Um, I hope that everybody is doing well and that the holidays, if you celebrate, <laughs> Um, are treating you well. So, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, no, that's it. That's it. <laughs> that's all I really have. Okay, so uh, just keep in mind, these are general readings, so not everything is going to apply to your specific situation. Just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't try to force anything here. It may not be for you. It can be for somebody else. Um, it could also be a future influence as well. Um, energies can be reversed too, so because um, I, I, I just go by what I feel is the majority, but I know they can be reversed, so also keep that in mind. Um, these are timeless as well, so whenever you find this, there may be a message for you, no matter if it's uh, December or not. Okay, so we'll get started. Uh, I guess I have to type things here. Okay. Snow? Yes? Snow. I don't know. Snow. It'll be snowing. Sure. <laughs> I know where to put my water. Okay. Alright, fire. Uh fire energy. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. Could just be feeling more fiery, having more energy, doing more things. Could also be feeling more exhausted as well. Stressed, perhaps. Ideas, inspiration, creative outlets too. We'll see what's coming towards you. I'm not taking reversals because I feel like looking at the pretty pictures. And I just don't feel drawn to take reversals. I'm I'm just feeling more about the pictures. I don't know why. That's not always the case, but something to do with the pictures, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what's coming towards you. I don't know why. I looked at the bottom of the deck for some reason and I saw the six of wands. So you may be getting some victory here um, after you've you know done something, after you've taken some sort of action or had to put in some energy into something. I'm just getting kind of a little bit of like a finally did it. Finished. I finished. Perhaps. Ooh, fiery. Talk about fire. Ooh. Okay, I'm getting something, you know, looking nice, looking attractive here. I'm very drawn to a suit. So, something about maybe dressing up, but there's something about your appearance. I feel, uh, I, I mean, I do feel people are attracted to that and attracted to you, but there's something like about looking really nice, like taking care of your appearance caring about your appearance in some way. I don't know if it's new or not, it's just something like that. Oh yeah, I saw the sun. With strong Leo energies. Yeah, the world. I told you, I, don't, I, I saw that six of wands. There's something here that is like, I finished. It's done. It's finished. But it's like, it feels relief. There's like this sort of, ah. <laughs> kind of energy, like I did it. I feel fine. I feel good about that. Yeah, now you have more options. It's like you finish something. Now you now you're open to more options here. You might be one a little bit like ah, I'm not really sure what to pick though. 
can be a little indecisive about something. There's a bit of a fearless factor here with you. Um, the Page of Swords can be a little bit of a know-it-all, but it's like, you know, I, I think I know. Uh, it's like in theory. I'll put it that way. It's like in theory, right? Mm. Yeah, I think it might be a little bit more work than maybe... I don't know if you're expecting it to be more work, but uh, okay. Well, this all seems very positive, right? I'm getting this, this is this is a feel good energy here with this world here because I also saw the sun with it. Six of Wands was also floating around as well, so it's like feeling like you want to be more presentable or something along those lines you know think you might just be thinking that you look good like not in a conceited way you know just sometimes you like maybe just think you're having a good hair day or something here um yeah and there's just this feeling of accomplishment celebration as well celebrating something that you've accomplished that you've finished here be having more options now but it's like hmm, what do I decide I can't really decide I don't I, I do feel like you're you're trying to learn but it's also like it does feel like a fearless like you know what I'm just gonna like see what it is here um for myself you know this page of swords is coming across as uh because it, it can, it's a, like she's a little bit of a know-it-all she's like very hermione granger here you know always putting her hand up like ooh, 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 ooh. yeah i i think that whatever it is that you are investing your time into whatever you're working on it's like you're doing it because you have a pretty good idea you know you think you know you think you know i will say that whatever it is you're working on it might be a little bit more tricky i'm getting more tricky um because of this yeah you're a bit in your ego a bit of confidence maybe overall confidence here um but i i mean it all doesn't really seem like terrible it's just whatever it is that you're working on it could be something that it feels like it's something you're doing for yourself um, you know, maybe you want to cut your own hair or something. I don't know. I wouldn't cut your own hair before like a holiday or an event, but I just mean like something that you're doing to improve yourself. Um, here could be meditating or something here. It's like, I don't need to know more. Like, I don't need, you know, to know how to do something kind of thing. It's like, I think I have enough, I feel like I have enough information to do it. Even though like, it's like almost like you think you're an expert in something when well, you're not really an expert. <laughs> it's, it's like that. Um, but you have a lot of, you have a lot of options here anyways. So it's like, even if this is too much or it's not really working out, you have other things that you can do. Now there are other things around, so it's not really that big of a deal. It seems like a transitional period for you as well, leaving behind something, which I feel it's whatever this is, you know, accomplish something, you know, done that. Now it's time to move on to something else, right? Okay. Um, let's see an energy that's around you. What's their energy towards you? This can be um, a person whose energy is attached to you. Could be past, current, even future. While well, you look at that. Two kings. Now, huh? I mean, two kings and wands are nice, but also, like, it can be a bit of a, you know, competition. You could butt heads a little bit. 
you know, alpha male type of energy, right? I'm not calling you male or whatever, but it's, it is masculine energy and it's like very proud masculine energy, right? So, um, yeah, watch out. Somebody here, it's like you both showed up to the party and you're both looking good, but it's like, I want to be the center of attention, but they also want to be the center of attention. So, I don't know, let's see. I do feel you're both attracted to each other as well. There's an attraction there because like you're both showing up like looking your best. However that, you know, manifests, whether it is like in physical nature, like you're, you're, you know, you're wearing your best clothing or whatever, or, you, you know, you've done your hair, your makeup, whatever, or it's just how you're presenting yourself, your attitude, your confidence. You know, however that is, it's like you're presenting your best and you're both attractive to each other. Like there, you're, there's that attraction there. But like I said, it's like two alphas, two alpha attractions, which can be a little bit problematic. Just watch your egos. You could have perhaps a, a fight there, like a battle of egos. Hmm. Ooh, this person... Okay, hold on. What is it? What is it that they can't take anymore? There's something about your energy they can't take anymore. It can be that it's like... It's not... I'm, I'm not getting a fight. I'm just getting like... You're just... You know, two... Two energies that are on the same level. Uh, it's hard to describe. Because I don't feel there's animosity. But let's see here. What, what else? Could you? Hmm. Hold on. Somebody is giving you your space. Yeah, okay. Somebody gave you your space. Okay, they're backing down. This person is backing down here. They kind of feel uh, like... I get a little bit like they don't really have too much of a choice, but that's in their head. Um, I see. So it's like you showed up to the party, whatever. I'm, I'm trying to say party. I don't mean an actual party, but maybe. Because I don't know why that keeps coming out like that. It's like you showed up. And then this other energy showed up and, you know, you're both taking space in this whatever room, whatever you want to call it here. This person won't be able to take it. It's too much for them. It's too much that there is somebody, another energy that is this, you know, <laughs> the king of wands takes up a lot of space. Think of it, you know, how, how like, what do they call it? Like man spreading. <laughs> But think of that as masculine energy. So it's like you're both taking up all this masculine space, like energy here. You know, you don't have to be male. It's just energy, right? It's very assertive, very like leadership type of energy, but you can only have one leader, right? So you're kind of taking up the space. This person's backing down. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I'm going to go somewhere else where because you can't have two leaders right you can't have two leaders i don't think it, it feels like i don't feel like there's animosity because there, there's a, i wouldn't even say that there's respect i mean there is but it's like it's not like i respect you too much i'm gonna back down it's not that it's just kind of like okay you know what you can have this i'll give you this i'll i'll back off i'll walk away here I'll give you this but also they kind of feel like their hands are tied anyways that they, it's like it's like it was your house your party right and they showed up and they're like you know what you can take it it's yours okay it's the best way I can explain it yeah no beginning no beginning let's see uh, what is your energy um like kind of towards this uh, what's, well, it's kind of like, what's the energy of this connection here? Hmm. 
to know, yeah, what's going on with the two of you here? What's your energy like? I don't think you totally agree with this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting that you haven't really decided. It is up to you, though. It is up to you. Yeah, I think, like, you're thinking about this. Why? Whatever decision you make, um, like, whatever path you take here, if you let this slide, if you let it go, or if you, you go, hey, you know, you don't have to leave, or whatever. Whatever it is, whatever path you take here, I do feel, um, it makes you think about things. It could make you think about how far you've come. Because I'm getting it tied to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Temperance. It it's not it's very calming here. Cause I'm getting with I'm look I'm drawn to the peace signs in her hands. Very peaceful energy here. It's it's not, like I said, there's not like a battle like going on, right? I, I don't feel like there is like an actual argument or a clash. I mean, I do feel like both your energies are quite mature, right? It is a transition for you. I feel like maybe the old you maybe wouldn't have acted in this way. Like maybe the old you maybe would have gotten stressed out about this or would have like reacted in a different way here. Maybe the old you wouldn't have thought about this, you know, because I'm because the hermit is an energy of, you know, we've been through experiences and we take on those experiences and we apply them, right? We're applying our inner wisdom to things. Here. And I think that perhaps maybe before you wouldn't have done that, but it's like, this is a transition for you. There's something different about this than how you would have acted maybe before, how you would, the decision that you would have made, you know, the last time I'm getting. This one, this time it's much calmer with this energy. It's, it, yeah, it's a much calmer energy this time, much more peaceful. Look at that. Balance. Justice. It's very nice. Um, I guess I could sum this up that, you know, dealing with doesn't have to be with this specific energy, but an energy like it when you were f like faced with somebody who's coming in trying to maybe invade your space in some way here. Um, I think you would have reacted differently th before. Um, before completing perhaps a cycle here, but now it's like, no. Uh, there's, you have a much calmer reaction and it's much more balanced, right? You're not so out of balance, not so stressed out, you know, you have transitioned here, perhaps grown. This is nice. This is positive. I like this. Okay. I'm going to whoops under here. Yeah, Ace of Cups, new beginnings, new beginnings with feelings, things like that, new connections even. All right, let's move on. Actually, I'm gonna um, pause while I do all this and then we'll move on to the second part. Okay, so um, if you're dealing with other energies, let's just kind of take a peek here at how are they thinking and feeling towards you. So we'll start with fire, if you're dealing with other fire energies, again, could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Oh. Let's see, how are they thinking and feeling towards you?
Oh, they think you're in a relationship. Mm. Oh. Yeah, they think that you're more than happy. Yeah, they think you're in a happy relationship, whether that's true or not. This is their perception of you. They don't really know how to feel about this. They go back and forth, back and forth. Um, do I like this? Do I not like this? Is this something I can handle? Is this something I can't handle? I'm not quite sure. Back and forth, back and forth. I don't know. Not, yeah, they don't, yeah. <laughs> not quite sure. But the reaction is you, you would not notice this at all. With the emperor there, mm-mm. See how cool and calm and collected he looks here? Yeah, no, this person is playing it cool. Um, so even if in the inside, they're not so sure how they feel about you possibly being happy. You don't have to be in a relationship, just being happy, content, um, with your life and things like that, uh, with the people around you. They're not entirely sure how they feel about that. Now, why is that? Oh, part of that is, oh, look at that. Empress to the emperor. Yeah. Okay. Um, but why? Oh, uh, because they kind of maybe wanted to get something going here with you. Yeah, there is an attraction here towards you. So that's why, yeah, they could have thought, mm, I don't know, like, how I feel about this. If you're happy and in, in, in a relationship, maybe you're just dating somebody, maybe. But it's like, well, you seem happy and they don't really know how they feel about that because it looked like they were planning to maybe do something here, planning to do something here. They are attracted towards you i think they were playing it too cool that's what i get here this was somebody who was playing it way too cool you know maybe they were acting a little bit too aloof a little too standoffish and it's like oh i think that burned them a little bit here but i think they're not entirely sure how they feel though there is definitely an attraction they are attracted to you okay but mm, yeah it can be a bit of maybe they think that they waited too long to say something okay all right so that's that current energy uh water energies if you're dealing with water energies could be cancer scorpio pisces Let's see how they're thinking and feeling towards you They think that you got your guard up here, that you're being very guarded for some reason. This person, ooh, they kind of want a second chance here. They feel like, mm, there's something that this person I feel has learned or accepted from what happened before i don't see them like doing anything but just hoping that things will change in their favor hoping that you know something will happen that will go in their favor here um it can be from you hoping that you'll do something um why judgment what does that have to oh okay i see um if they hurt you I think that they understand now that they hurt you. Um, or there's some sort of pain here, some sort of baggage here. They understand that baggage more. If they were carrying around some baggage, 
here they seem to feel like they understand that more now i don't like i said i don't see them doing what like taking much action here except just hoping and praying that things will change and go in their favor getting like that they're hoping that the wind will change and blow their way yeah the pain is over the worst is behind yeah this seems very hopeful i don't know why the energy i'm getting here is it's it's quite optimistic it just it it feels like you know the the dawn of a new day type of energy it's not bad okay if you're dealing with air energies so gemini or aquarius what are they thinking and feeling towards you Almost didn't even know where that was. It like almost just disappeared. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, air energies. They seem to think that you're you're doing fine. They think that your life is stable and that things seem to be a okay with you. That you you know they they think that there could have been a specific event where they saw you maybe you know they just I don't know if they bumped into you or they saw you hanging out with people or like they just saw you somewhere like at an event and they saw and they and however you were portraying there like what they saw they thought you were happy and fine um you know if they saw you out with people then they thought you know what the fire energies are fine they seem to be enjoying themselves doesn't matter if you were or not um that's their sort of perception of your energy they feel like they're they they have some work that they need to do. Um, they feel like they still got they still have to work on some things here. They're gonna th yeah they're still trying to like <laughs> think about it, figure it out. Um, I don't know like I mean it seems quite typical air energy of you know, trying to find some sort of solution here because they're okay wait why is this eight of pentacles why is this here oh yeah okay Okay, I see, I see, I see, I see. You have the devil. You have the tower and the devil. So, this is all in their feelings, right? They feel like they need to still work some things out. Some toxic things within them, some negative energies within them. They've had some sort of rude awakening here. I don't know what happened exactly, but they've had some sort of rude awakening here that's kind of kicked them in the butt is it has kicked them square in the butt here you know maybe they've seen what is holding them back they've seen some sort of toxicity here and they're working on it they feel they need to work on it i'm getting a little bit like seeing you and your energy is like almost inspired them a little bit to work harder on themselves here you know we have temperance here as well alchemy you know trying things out um i think they're trying some things out right now they feel like they should try some things out. Um, I don't know if they're actually doing it because they seem to be sitting here thinking. It, it comes across as somebody who's thinking that they should be doing some things. I don't know if they're actually doing them yet. Because um, he's just kind of sitting on his ass thinking. Hmm, pondering things. 
Uh, just give me one for the King of Swords. Hmm? <laughs> yeah, thinking. <laughs> what do I pick? What do I do, right? Which one's the right one? This is what he's thinking about. This is what this King of Swords is thinking about. I don't know which one's the right one. Which one holds my happiness? Which one will make me feel good? Which one isn't fake? Trying to suss it out. Yeah, okay. It's giving them a big headache. I'll tell you that. It's giving them a huge headache trying to figure this out. I think they're overthinking a little bit. Too much thinking, not enough feeling. But it's like, oh, but when I feel, I, get, I feel confused. Yeah, okay their problem not your problem okay all right earth energies um uh, what's going on there uh you could be dealing with taurus virgo capricorn how are they thinking and feeling towards you oh i forgot to mention with the air energies um there is a there there is some sort of strong sort of I'm getting bond connection there too because that lovers uh, was showing up. It's a ten of pentacles, which is yeah okay. Ten of Swords. Um, this person thinks that, well, they think you've put distance between the two of you. Um, I'm just getting that they think that you're kind of far away right now, like even physically far away. But yeah, they, they do perceive you as somebody who's kind of gotten away from things here, uh, from a situation um, with you guys here that you've moved on to calmer waters here. They feel like something is over. Um, they feel, I do feel there's an uncomfortableness with that. They feel like something, that 10 of pentacles, something that perhaps felt like it was going to last a while or that they felt was, yeah something familiar they feel like it's changed it's not like it's no longer feeling comfortable anymore they don't feel comfortable anymore like something about like with you like they just don't feel something about that they don't feel comfortable um there are endings here so Whatever pain that this person has associated here with you in this connection, they seem to be coming out of it. Um, uh, like a period of suffering here. Yeah. I don't think you were aware of it or just people, they didn't tell a lot of people about it. Why is this Ten of Swords here? I think they kept it, you know, to themselves. Sorry, uh, the high priestess was underneath. Yeah, eight of cups. I think that they're they're trying to move away from this. They're trying to move away from whatever it is that they feel hurts. You know, try, you know, they're walking. I am getting finally walking away from something that is painful. That has been painful. Ooh, not just walking, running, running away. This person knows their truth, right? They know. There's something that, something that they believe that they know. They, well, I mean, they know where their happiness is, basically. They know what would make them happy. And they're running towards that. They're, they're yeah, they're leaving, they're leaving whatever this shit is behind and they're running towards their happiness. There it is. 
Yes, their happiness. Just pure happiness, the truth. They have seen the light. They understand something now. Life lessons. Yes, whatever this is, it was bad. And they're like, you know what? I, you know, they're learning. They're learning from that. They're learning, from, you know, lessons learned here. I want to be happy. Okay. All right. Um, that's what I have here for you, Fire Energy. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed these readings. If you do, uh, please like and share. If you'd like to be notified when I post new readings, um, you can subscribe. It also helps me with the channel, so I really greatly appreciate that. Um, thank you again for watching, and I hope that you have, you know, happy holidays if you celebrate and take care. And we're going to move on. All right water energies let's see what's coming towards you <clears throat> um cancer scorpio pisces if you want to go by signs water energies just you know has to do about feelings emotions if you're just feeling things more going by your instincts um your intuition I actually feel like this is a positive it's like a break I think that y y what's coming towards you is a break getting a break taking a break it's like it feels like sleeping in yeah it's like, I need a break so I can, you know, see where I'm going. I think that this break will bring some sort of revelation to you. Um, you'll realize something here, something about the path towards your goals and your aspirations. Like it can be healing. There's a lot of healing here. I do think it's very healing in like in general anyways. That's why it just felt like a break. It just felt like, oh, okay, I, you know, I can get a break. You know, I can breathe. You know, whether whatever this is, whether it's like, you know, a holiday break or it's a break from the holidays or it's just a break from whatever's going on with you. It seems the energy that's coming towards you is allowing that um, in some way to have some epiphany here. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 so yeah it's like having uh seeing things here like ah uh, like a aha type of moment um it could be that maybe you see that maybe you've been looking at things in a sort of short-sighted way that maybe you've been shooting yourself in the foot with the five of swords um that perhaps you know, realizing the mistake that you may have made in more like, you know, why it just feels like it's not like learning a lesson. It is and it's not. It's more recovering from this. I don't know what this is um, exactly. It's five of swords, but it feels like self-inflicted, like, um... Uh, how do I put this? I mean, like, she's like the last man standing, but it's like, was it worth it? And I think that's kind of some sort of realization here. It's like realizing perhaps maybe what you did, what you said, and it's like, okay, so you won the battle, but was it worth it? Kind of here. And I see you being motivated. So it's like, you could see the color change here. Oh, this is, you know, nice blues, dark blues here very sort of healing and then it's like we go through this healing and as once you realize this then it's like okay i'm ready i'm ready for what's next so you can it's basically yeah healing whatever this i want to know one for that five of swords
That is not. I have to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> wow. I tried to talk mid sneeze. That's not good. Don't try to talk mid sneeze. Yeah. Coming to an end to something here. Ooh, okay. Uh, so you, what you may have done, you may have had too many options. Um, and I think that whatever it is that you chose could have been more for yourself um, here. Uh, yeah. And you just, yeah. I, I, I mean, I always get this messed up. I mean, it is in reverse. It's one of those cards that's like, ooh. Yeah, it was more about you. It's like you didn't want to let something go. Rather than let it go, it's like, you know, I'm just going to like, I, I just wanted to make sure I had options. But it, it feels a little bit more, um, we call it, uh, self-serving <clears throat> here. So I, I think there was a realization or there that's what's coming towards you is a realization. You know, maybe I, maybe I was a little selfish here and I didn't let something go that I should have let go. And instead I just kind of like kept it around. So I'd have more options like a plan B type of thing, but maybe I shouldn't have kept it around as a plan B. So that's what I'm getting here. Some sort of realization of that healing um, from that. And you know, then now ready, ready to start again. Like, you know, I'm ready now. Um, this feels like it's different for everyone, like specifics, but it's still like there. Okay. Um, let's see what's going on around you. This can be a person whose energy is attached to you. Uh, it could be past, current, or future. Oh, yeah, that sneeze. I have to, like, blow my nose now. Ugh. Actually, I'm going to stop and do that. Okay, sorry. This could have to do with work. This, um, external energy. Oh, who ate? Somebody, somebody feels like they got their hands tied, like they're trapped. They think that they're trapped. Okay, yeah. I see you. Fell on the ground. I see you. Mm hmm. It feels like they're doing it to themselves a little bit. <clears throat> I do feel like subtly they're asking for help. I don't know if they're asking from you, but it's like, it almost feels a little bit like a call for help because I'm very drawn to his hands and all the hands like, you know, like reaching out, but it feels more of like reaching out for like, help me. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. it's interesting. It's all green, greenish blue. Um, greens are money. It can be money. Um, growth, things to do. Very earthy. Blues, truth. Um, and sort of logic. If you want to go that way. Yeah, this person, if it's a person, it doesn't have to be a person um, because it is external energy. So it can be like your job or where you work or even just the people you work with. Um, whoever, like, if it's a person, it's probably somebody you work with. If it's not somebody you work with, it's something th that you've been working something out with, okay? Um, they 
their energy is telling me that they're trapped in their head. They've got some ideas that are in their head and the, they're having a hard time sort of getting out of that, getting out of that negative space. They are negative. Um, I don't know what it is exactly. Uh, wait, what is this devil? Why? Okay, it's about like things not, they don't feel like things are fair or things are one-sided or things aren't being reciprocated. Things aren't very balanced. Okay, I get that with the Six of Pentacles because I was getting like, they're not, they don't feel like they're getting like an equal share. Like they, it's like they're asking for help. I don't know what that means. It's like they're asking to get something. I want something. More like it feels like they des they, they, they feel entitled to something or like, you know, I deserve something, but I'm not getting it. It feels money-based. Um, maybe they feel like they're not being paid enough uh, or something, or it's just money issues. Like they just, like, there's something like they don't feel like they're being perhaps valued or something along those ways. If this is somebody you're working with, they may quit because this is, you know, starting something new. They may just be like, fuck it, I'm just gonna like leave because I don't feel like this is like somebody who kind of doesn't feel very appreciated. Um, yeah, they just don't feel like they're getting like that they're not receiving help. I don't know if it's from you or not. Uh, it, it can be like you're not getting enough information or like I said, money. Like it seems very tangible, whatever it is. It's like they want, I don't know if they want more, but it's like they've got this sort of idea in their head that they aren't getting enough. That it that whatever it is that they're getting, they don't really feel like it's either the truth or that it's fair or equal. Like. If this is somebody that you're trying to work things out with, then I could see that they've got this idea in their head that you're not telling them everything. You're not telling them everything that would make things right, that would fix it or something. And it, it doesn't really have anything to do with you. It's their own issues. They can't like, they can't see what's right and or wrong. Like they, they're just, they're just trapped in their head. They just keep thinking that you're not telling them something, that you're not giving them what it is that they feel that they need to sort of make it right so this looks like this is somebody that's going to sort of you know a new cycle they may just try something new like they may just like jump off and try something new like a leap of faith i don't know i i i would say that i don't feel like this has anything to do with you so don't blame yourself here because it doesn't feel like it it does like it's just this per, their own sort of personal demons right they it's just not enough I, I feel like no matter what you give how much you give it's not enough i mean we have eight six pentacles there's so much being given here and i just don't think that this person feels like it's enough like it's it's just in their head they just think that there's more they could just, you know, just think that there's more, there's more. Like, why isn't it like, there has to be something else, but maybe there isn't. And yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's their ego because they're, ego, they do think that, you know, there should be more. It's not equal. It's not, this isn't going to fix it. It's like, well, what do you know? Anyways. Okay. Let me see your energy towards this here. I get a bit of, yeah, this is hard. Like, I was gonna say a bit of devastation, which yeah, it is. He looks pretty devastated. He's just like, I can't handle this anymore. This is, this is tough. Yeah, I think this is tough. This is a tough situation. Cause I think that whatever it is that they're looking for, you don't have. It's like, whatever it is that they think would make things right, I don't think you have it and I think you're being perhaps a little hard on yourself. It's not up to you to give this person what it is that they want. They need to fix it. It's, it's, you know, or whatever this, what this energy wants. It's not up to you. 
they're asking you, sure, but it's not up to you to give it to them. They, you know, they need to help themselves. They're putting, uh, this energy is putting too much, I feel, on you to, to get help, right? This feels very strong. You should help me. And it's like, uh, you know, you're just one person. You know, this person needs to help themselves. Okay. Yeah, I, it is like, what do I do? <laughs> okay, hold on. You feel like you're between a rock and a hard place. You may feel a little stuck, like you're settling. That, you know, like things could be better. This isn't really, you know, it's not really hitting the spot for you. Um, I do feel you've moved on from this, this devil energy here. Yeah, you have moved on from it. You might, yeah. I, hold on. Yeah, I see you're trying your best here, I feel, to juggle with this energy in your life, you know, trying to fit this energy in your life. It's very difficult, I feel. Now, these are all minor arcana, so this could change on the day and everything. It's very fluid, but I feel when it comes to dealing with this energy, um, yeah, it's difficult. It's difficult because it's like, whatever it is that you do it's like you just feel damned if i do damned if i don't and it doesn't really make you happy and i think you know that i think that you want to get away from this that you know just you know being in this around this energy or allowing this energy <clears throat> like into your space is just kind of it's fine but it's like it could be better i think you know that um here i see that you do keep some things to yourself this is like kind of minor devil energy, but it's more like it's all building because it's like, I don't really know what else to do. So there are some things that you might tell little white lies or you might be avoidant um, of this energy trying to get away because you need some balance in your life. You can't deal with this energy all the time. And like maybe just to get away from it, maybe you tell a lie. Maybe you make some sort of excuse, you know, if it's a person and if they come at you because they want to like go over this shit again for like the a thousandth time and it's just like uh you know uh i'm busy <laughs> it's like i'm busy i i need to wash my hair i don't know <laughs> and it's just so you can kind of keep some balance in your life mm. yeah <laughs> Spiritual guidance is kind of just, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, I think that the Knight of Pentacles is a very reliable energy and it just kind of, it doesn't do anything until the time is right. And I feel spiritual guidance here is if you want to do something here, um, you can wait until the time is right. You know, it, it's like, don't rush, take things one step at a time. Try not to do anything impulsively here. Um, I do feel you have the information here that you need to kind of sort of, you know, do things in your own time. You don't have to do things. It's just the moon. Even if you don't, it's like you, you, the things that you know, even if you don't know everything, is enough um, here, you know, to do, to take things in your own time. You know, you don't have to rush. Um, also the Knight of Pentacles is kind of a work in progress type of energy as well. It's like whatever path that you're on, you know, stick to that, stick to where you were going. You know, maybe this slows things down, but you know, just keep moving forward here. 
even if you don't really know exactly where things are going to lead. All right. Okay. So I'm going to clean this up and we're going to move on to the sort of the second part of the reading and I'll be back. Okay. So let's see if you're dealing with different energies here. How are they thinking and feeling towards you? So we'll start with fire. So you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. See what they're thinking and feeling. Yeah, okay. I see, I see, I see. Let's see these. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Yeah, I get it. I get it. They like you. Okay. No, this person really likes you. <laughs> they really like you. Um, yeah. They see you as somebody. They think that they can trust you. They, yeah, they trust you. This person trusts you. They think that you know what you're doing whether you do or not they do think that you know what it is that you are doing here they sort of if you say something um they kind of trust what you say like any sort of advice here um because they think that you've seen it you've had experience so you must know what you're talking about um yeah they they respect you um they got they do have a crush on you, yeah. They've got these feelings for you. They they feel it's it's the it's a bit of a head in the clouds type of energy. Yeah, they probably daydream about you, fantasize about you, um, in some ways. Here, I I do feel like this person. I don't know if they're gonna tell you how they feel, um. I do feel like this person intends to, on some level, show you how they feel. That the Knight of Cups showing up and the Six of Pentacles, it, but it's on sort of an equal playing field, right? This is a very, like, in, in a healthy way. I'll put it that way. In a healthy way. It's not like they're going to go all, like, stalking and obsessing over you or anything like that. It's, it, it comes out in healthy expressions, I feel, like... You know, it is the time of holiday season, so they probably will give you a gift or help you out in some way here, offer help, you know, hey, you know, if you ever need anything, you know, if you need me, you know, to help with something, you know, I, you know they, they might volunteer to help you with things, um, you know, showing like whatever it is, I feel like whatever their love language is, which I do not know, um, that seems to be like what they intend to do they intend to like so if it's like words of affirmation then they may compliment you like say oh you look really nice today or something or you seem very happy i don't know i don't know what the fuck they would tell you but like things like that it, it seems very nice nice energy um very sort of open to sort of showing how they feel um here um i don't know where it goes beyond that i'll be honest but <laughs> It's very nice. This person likes you. Um, that's all I can say. Um, now I, I mean, I don't, I don't know where it goes from there, but but this, this is very nice. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I can get from it. Probably not. It's like this is just what's being presented. Well, you just have to wait and see where that goes okay anyways water <laughs> if you're dealing with water energies um can be, uh, cancer pisces scorpio i don't know why i said it in that order <sighs> okay whatever these card the card stock it's not eh, it's still very stiff so i'm just gonna have to do it this way Okay. 
I was wondering, I saw that. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Um... I mean, they see you as being that you're a team player, but perhaps sometimes you get caught in situations where you have to make di di difficult decisions. Um, it can be that perhaps they see that you're a little in demand. Maybe, you know, people, you know, want to, like, want, want your services in some way. I don't know what that means. Like, if you're, like, really good at something, like, uh, I don't know. Um, trying to think of an example. Um, like you have certain skills and abilities. Like, I, okay, I'll give I'll give you an example. Uh, you have the car. <laughs> you have the car. You know how to drive and everything. And it's like, I it's like you're a team player. It's like you know if somebody needs a lift somewhere, then you know most of the time you're 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 fine to do it kind of thing but sometimes maybe two people want you to you know ask you to drive you somewhere and you know you're only one person it's one car you can't you know it, it's so then you have to make difficult decisions um things like, like people put you in these positions is what i'm getting like like i'm looking at the two uh, birds here it's like fighting over you almost but it's like fighting over you for you know to to do things tasks kind of thing um, I mean, I don't know if that's exactly it. I'm just giving you an example, but this is how this person perceives you. They perceive that you're willing, that you're willing to be a team player, but, you know, sometimes people, you know, they kind of fight over what you bring to the table. Um, this, they're not, this person feels like they shouldn't say anything about it. They feel like they shouldn't. I guess bring it up. They shouldn't say their opinion. I don't really know what's going on there. They don't even really know what they want to do, to be honest. Two of Wands. Um, that's, you know, free will. They're still deciding what to do about this. I think there's a part of them that probably wants to speak up, um, wants to say something, but they haven't you know, they haven't decided what exactly it is that they want to do. They're still trying to decide. Why is this four swords? Four pentacles. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and again, the page of wands. Yeah, I think that this person either they're not very good at confrontation, they're not very good at speaking, or they just maybe they just think that it's not their place to say it like I don't have all the information I don't know exactly what the situation is so it's really not my place to say something um, but I do feel like they want to but they're just kind of being careful cautious here because they feel like they would lose something it can be maybe they feel like they would lose the connection the relationship with you you know if they said something and you got offended or something like that like there's a bit of fear behind like it's like I'm holding my tongue back because I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid of perhaps what will happen uh, maybe they're afraid they'll say the wrong thing uh, maybe this is somebody that they know they're not very good with communicating and people tend to not really understand them <clears throat> understand why they say things or they're not very good at explaining things and so it gets all twisted and things like that so they're in sort of deciding whether they want to do something or not um, I can tell you that this person, probably, if this is the case for you, then they do see that this is happening, even if they're not saying anything, because they don't know if they should, basically, or how they should. Okay. Um, let's move on. Uh, air energies, if you're dealing with air energies, can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Are they thinking and feeling towards you? Okay. I think you've moved on. <laughs> oh, what do I do? Oh, 
Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this this person here thinks you've walked away. That I'm getting long gone. Like that, she's like whether you are or not, they feel their perception of you is that you are far away. Like you've walked far away, long gone. I'm getting long gone there. Um, their their feelings are all mixed up. <laughs> yeah, they don't really know what how they feel about this. I'll put it that way. Like, I mean, they do and they don't. It's just they feel trapped by this. It's like I couldn't stop you. Basically, there's nothing I can do to stop you. You can do what you want to do, and but it's like it, it, they're all mixed up in their feelings here. I can see here they're like this. Oh, this person probably they. They want to do something here. They want to like, they want to reach out to you. They want to run after you basically. So if you're long gone, this is the type of energy where I want to run after you. I want to like tell you the truth. I want to tell you everything, everything. Like, look, look, look how bright that is. I want to tell you everything that's going on. Um, I don't know if they will, but they really want to. Why is this eight of swords here? Uh-huh. They don't want... Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's more to that. Okay. Um, because I was like, what's going on with this Eight of Swords here? Uh, yeah, they're really mixed up in their feelings here. Um, how do I explain this? to you it's like they're not sure if they picked the right one they're not sure what to pick here um they don't know if how they feel is how they really feel in a sense um i don't know if they don't know but it's like uh, there's a lot of confusion here in their feelings um, because these two energies are, is it real or is it not? Is it like, I don't know. I'm confused if this is real or like, is somebody just playing me? You know, are they just pretending or, you know, are they hiding something or is this really how I feel? Like, am I being like blinded by, um, all the, like, like, I mean, they do find you attractive, right? There's something about you that they find very attractive. Uh, and they're just kind of like, is this... Is it just, you know, attraction? Is it just a lust? Or like, is there something else there? Like, they're very confused about their feelings. And their feelings are like kind of holding them back here. Um, yeah, they don't know if they're being blinded by sort of superficial things. Or, you know, is, is there something else there? This is something this person needs to kind of figure out. I do feel they are, yeah, it is a superficial energy. I think that this person is used to dealing with superficial energies whether it's themselves or other people um you know like they go after the shiny things kind of thing you know they go after people that don't really have maybe a lot of substance or something or those people come to them they deal with people like that so there is sort of this i'm confused with how i feel is this something that is true is it real genuine whatever or is it superficial fake um, they don't know. They all, like, it's, some of this has to do about you walking away. They're like, are you just playing games with me? Or are you really done? Like, are you like, are you just walking away? You know, cause, cause they said that they want to chase after you. Right. So it's kind of like that energy of, you know, when somebody walks away, it's like, are they walking away? But they're walking really slowly, hoping that you'll catch up to them. Or are they just like, I'm just done. I'm just walking away. Just, just walking away at a normal pace. This is something that they're trying to sort of figure out. They don't really know. They have to figure it out. I mean, it's just going to drive them crazy. But because they really want to tell you all this. All of this is what they want to do. They want to run up to you and tell you, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Is this real? Is it not? You know, I'm used to dealing with like superficial people or in, in all of this. I don't know, you know, what feels real and like it's like they do want to tell you this but it's like i really doubt that they will but the, the urge is very strong 
Let me see. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this devil's going to stop them. They want to. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was wondering, I was like, what are their next actions towards you? Like, likely, obviously everyone's got free will. The devil comes out. I mean, the devil comes out and it's like, yeah, they've got some things that they need to deal with, but I do see here that they can. Um, if they want it bad enough, the star, you know, it's our wishes. And I do feel also there's some sort of you can call it destiny, fate, in play here that they have to feel this way. They have to go through these motions so that they can deal with this devil energy, with so they can deal with their toxic shit. And yeah, it does feel it's kind of, it's guiding them towards that here. Because they, this is very strong. They very much want to tell you all of this. This is going to stop them, but it's like, Okay, how, how badly do you want this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pained, man. Yeah, this energy right now I see in the near future is in a limbo state. I think that they need to see some, some things clearly. They probably need to sacrifice something here, whatever, you know, to deal with this. But it, it all depends on how much they want it. Is, you know, is this, you know, what are their wishes? What are their dreams? Yeah. How bad do you want it? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't measure that, you know, on how much they care about you um, here, because I do feel that, you know, they are attracted to you. I don't know if they care about you. I'll be honest. It's not showing up one way or the other here um, because there's so much of their own shit that they need to deal with before they can deal with you. You know, I would just focus on you here and leave this person to deal with their shit. You know, what is meant for you, you will not miss all of that stuff, right? And here at the star, there seems to be something destined about this energy. You know, there's a purpose here. All right, enough of that. Let's move on. Earth energies, if you're dealing with earth energies. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What are they thinking and feeling towards you? Hmm. This also wanted to come out. Actually, I'm going to put it this way. I'm sorry, it's like really messy. <laughs> it's an organized chaos, I swear. Oh. It's nice. Um, okay. Uh I'm getting like they think you're on top of the world. Like they think that you're happy. Whether that's true or not, their perception of you is like you're happy. Um, you're happy with your choices here. I feel they think that you've made some, uh, you call it leaps of faith, um, uh, you know, some choices here and that they, they think that you are, are feeling fulfilled with your decisions, with what you've done or what has been, you know, what you've got right now. So they, they feel like you're, yeah, just getting kind of on top of the world. That's how they perceive you. Um, they feel they're struggling here a little. I feel like it's coming to an end though, whatever it is that they're struggling here with you, like their feelings towards you. I think they're working through it. They have been working through it. So however, you know, I don't know how they feel about exactly. It's just, it, it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle for them. I think they're nearing the end of that struggle. They've been working hard to, you know, work through that, work through some of their feelings here. I do see that they're, this is a nice ending. This is, this is a happy ending. The world, um, it is good intentions. This person does have good intentions here. Um, I'm just getting like, they just kind of want the best, the best for you, the best for them, the best for, you know, this connection. 
it doesn't feel like it just feels like they're just working on their shit they're happy that you know they're glad that you seem to be fine whether you are or not their perception of you is they seem that you're fine here and they just kind of want to sort of put something to bed here close the chapter of whatever is going on here whatever the situation is here and just kind of be like yeah okay what happened yeah let's move forward um it just feels it feels bittersweet i'll put it that way yeah okay all right um that's what i have for you water energy so thanks for watching you can always check out any of the other um readings if you feel drawn to them there could be messages in there for you as well um, if you enjoyed these readings, uh, please like and share. If you would like to be notified when I post new readings, you can subscribe and uh, do the whole notification bell thing <laughs> uh, for that. Um, but this is where I'm going to leave you here with uh, today. So take care and I hope you have happy holidays if that is what you are celebrating. And we will move on. All right, air energies. Uh, you can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So we're gonna see what's going on here with you. I hope things are fine, that you're doing well. Let's see what energies are coming towards you. think I've ever seen that card in this deck. The Six of Swords. Yeah. I didn't know there was a little popper in it. That's so cute. I see growth here with you. Um, I see you growing up. I don't know what that means. I mean, take it, take it as it resonates. Um, yeah, I see there, there's growth here with you. Um, I think there's something here that you are kind of putting distance here, like distance. Like I feel there's distance that you're putting between you and a situation here. I think that this is like, this is like a mature move for you. Like that's all I get here. I get like, oh wow, you've grown up <laughs> kind of thing. Like, I mean, I don't mean that to be like patronizing or anything like that. It's just, it's like there's growth here. Um, inner growth is what I mean. It's helping you, you know, to be better you know with this divine feminine energy here um more open more um open to emotions and things like that here whatever the, this is this move here it's to help you and your emotions um yeah so you can have more so you can feel like you have more um in your life things that are more fulfilling here for you yeah moving away from something here taking bold action to go after what it is that you desire i feel like there's a you have a vision here there's something that you've been desiring i don't know what that is it's probably different for everybody but there's something that you've been desiring that you've been trying to go after and i feel this is like part of that process 
right? It's a working process, the Knight of Pentacles. I think that this is very slow energy. This seems very ongoing. It's been going on. It's very continuous here, but it's like we're, it's like this is the steps kind of thing that we're going through. The energy that's coming in is like, okay, we're allowing you to take these steps here to move away from something, to take action here more. Like this is an action towards what it is that you want, your goals, your desires here. It's slow. It's not quick, but it's something, right? It's doing something here to better yourself, to be more in touch with that divine feminine energy to have more resources at your hand in like at your fingertips here you know it's so you have more to go on for i don't know for for whatever it is that your goal is it just feels like yeah i just get growth uh -huh. i feel like there is it can be yeah, there are some regrets um around you i don't know if this is you i don't think this is you it could be you from the past feeling trapped in your regrets and your sadness here feeling like your feelings have been trapped trapped in a bottle um i don't know if you're i don't know how you're letting things going i just want one for the six of swords It can be a relationship, four of wands. You could be putting distance between yourself and a relationship here. Yes, eh, it could be several relationships, I'm not gonna lie. Um, relationships that kind of don't make sense to you. Um, maybe these are relationships that you strung along. Um, maybe they are, you know, kind of plan B type of relationships, uh, you know, whatever, options, right? that you've been keeping as an option here or something. Um, there's something about um, that was turbulent for you. And it's like, okay, there's this is a step, a step to putting distance, it can be actual distance um, between you and whatever this is so that you can move more towards what it is that you truly desire, what you actually want. Okay. All right. Let's see what's going on around you. An energy that is around you, and it could be an energy that's attached to you. This could be a person. Um, could be past, current, or future. to think about. This energy, whatever's around you, um, I feel like they, they've had a lot to think about and the things that they've been thinking about are haunting them. It feels haunting. Um, there's something that has been haunting them. I feel like they've been trying to manifest some sort of peace here, peace of mind. I think they've been wanting some sort of peace of mind. They've been trying to get some sort of peace of mind here. 
This energy, I feel, is focused on love. They want to express how they feel. Um, not in a crazy way. In a way that makes sense to them. Because this person, whoever this is, I feel like they do care about you. Or they did care about you. I don't know if they still do. Um, it seems quite like this this feels like a timeline here in a, in a way sort of I don't know I don't really know how to explain it but because these are these energies are more like present I guess you could say because they were the first ones and as we go it's like it gets sort of further away I, I, I don't know how to explain that but anyways um yeah uh this this energy here is like eh, eh. it's like they do want it's like they did or they do want to offer you some sort of love offer here. You know, they care. Yeah, they care. They care or cared about you. About this connection. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, like, she's, um... <laughs> she don't offer this cup to just anybody because she don't need to offer it right so the fact that i'm seeing this here the fact that this person the fact why do i always keep saying fact it's not a fact but the energy here i mean the cards are here but like the energy here is telling me that whoever this is wanted or did offer some love here but this queen pentacles does not offer this to everybody she doesn't need to that's why she doesn't so, I don't know what happened here, but either, yeah, I feel she wanted to, or she did. But right now, their energy is telling me they are just trying to find some sort of peace of mind. And it's it all feels very mature, like it all feels very rational. You know, it, it doesn't feel like it's crazy. It's like, okay, like perhaps maybe you rejected it. Maybe they offered you this cup. Maybe you rejected it. And maybe they're all up in their head about it. And they're trying to find, you know, a way to find some sort of peace of mind to sort of, you know, deal, cope with all of this here. I do see that they kind of are with the Ten of Swords. You know, the worst I feel has happened here. You know, they felt perhaps betrayed, pain, suffering here um i feel they are getting through it you know with the birds especially in this deck it's very hopeful energy here so yeah i think that they're getting over something here whether it's with you or another energy i don't know but they're getting over something here i don't know if they if they still want this or if they want this or if they've done this i don't really know in the timeline i'll be honest it feels further back so it feels more likely it's in the past but I also don't know if it's in the present too because uh because of the way it's presenting itself because here I'll I'll try to explain this this feels present 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 but because these are further it they feel further like this has been going on for a while trying to find some peace of mind but also present it's like they're they're blending into the present present thing it doesn't go immediately to the past it's it's like it was in the past but it's still in the sort of recent past i don't know i'm not explaining that right <laughs> anyways whatever this energy is they're trying to figure their shit out they're trying to cope here um they're trying to find some sort of solution here and it has to do with you and your energy something that they wanted to offer you they wanted to offer you some sort of love offer here i do feel their intentions were good with temperance here i think they wanted to bring balance to this connection but uh, they got a lot to think about why is this nine of swords here Yeah. Yeah. They wanted some sort of connection here with you. I think they felt that you and them fit. You know, they they feel like you and them fit. There was a sort of, you know, they can't stop thinking about this. 
they have this very strong inclination that the two of you would be, I don't know, magic together. I guess you could put it that way. And that is what they can't stop thinking about. They can't stop thinking about this connection. It is kind of obsessive. There's an obsessive level. I do, like I said, this all feels rational in that they are trying their best to manifest some peace of mind. I think that they don't want to think about this as much as they are. Um, and then, like you can be like, Alice, then just don't think about it. I'm like, yeah, well, it's not that easy for them. They can't let this go because they feel so strongly about this connection. Like, I mean, I can put it into words. If you want to be cheesy, they could have thought of you as their soulmate or you know, the one or something. I don't know. They're, they've, I'm getting like they thought there was a very strong connection between the two of you. It's very difficult for them to let go of and it plagues their mind. And they've been trying to find some sort of peace of mind or they are trying to find some sort of peace of mind here. Okay. Let's see what your energy is contributing, I guess, to this which then equals your connection, right? But let's see. Okay, minor devil. They don't want to come out in reverse. Yeah, I see why. So what I see here with your energy, what, you, how you're sort of, your energy towards this, I guess, the situation here and all that, I think that you are somewhat aware of some things here. This, the Seven of Swords is kind of telling me, like, you've been trying to maybe run away from this um, energy, but there's there's a sort of exposed energy to that it's like it's like it, it it can be that you know you're running away from the energy there's like sort of awareness um it can be just you know that you shouldn't or like you know that you're not doing what you should be doing um because the seven of swords is usually somebody who's being sneaky right but it's like you know you're being sneaky it's like you know that you're running away from this like you know that like there's a sort of honesty that you have with yourself here in this energy but with the two of wands in reverse it's because there, there's this part of like yeah but it's because i don't really know what to do you know the two of wands is our free will it's our decisions you know which path do we do how do we act and the two of wands in reverse is like i don't know what to do i don't know what to do next so it's kind of like, I'm just running away because I really don't know what else to do here. I don't know what I should do um, here. And I get with the Four of Swords, it's like, you're thinking about it. It's like, I need a break. I need a rest. I feel like you probably haven't talked to this person um, or you're not talking to this person or you won't talk to this person. <laughs> There's this uh, break, this period of silence here. Again, I think that you want this period of silence because you want to be free to do what you want to do. It's like, I just need to feel free. Maybe you're feeling um, like the walls are coming in on you. And it's like, I just, I just need to, I'm getting feeling claustrophobic. It's like, I, it's like, I, maybe you're feeling claustrophobic with the energy. And it's like, I just need some time to sort of just be free and feel like I could just do what I want to do kind of here at the nine of pentacles. I just need to, you know, it's like, I, it's like, I need a break so I can just, you know, go do what I want to do, right? Enjoy life, whatever that is here. 
I do see here though, um, there is some conflict coming. I, <laughs> the, you know, all this stuff, all the stuff that it's like trying to hide from it and all that with the high priestess, the secrets, there is a breaking point that it's like it's building. It feels like when you don't deal with things, they just build. You know, when you just kind of leave things in the background, um, they build up inside of you. Like, it's like, okay, sure. I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do next. And it kind of is like, a, what do you call it? Uh, like ignoring it, denying it type of energy. I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to deny it here. But there's friction that's building here. This five of wands will eventually build to this ten of wands. And this is all with the high priestess. Like, I don't want to see it right it's like i'm just it's just gonna be my secret i'm just gonna hide from it you know it's just gonna be hidden but i think you know intuitively that it is building that it will build because that's just what happens when you try to like sweep things under the carpet like when you don't deal with the mess and you just sweep it under the carpet it doesn't go away and sometimes it builds up and more dirt builds up and things like that so there's, there seems to be some sort of breaking point here that it this sort of energy is accumulating here to it might get real tough to carry this is a burden to carry these burdens um i mean i don't know what you're gonna do with that energy i have no idea um mm -hmm. yeah this seems to be what you're doing uh, magician right um i just want to know more about that high priestess want one for that temperance yeah it's to give yourself some peace of mind some sandy yeah i feel like both of you both these energies want peace of mind they want things to go smoothly right temperance it's like we just want things to go smoothly calmness i think that i i think you're both trying to manifest that which is interesting because you have somewhat mirroring energies in that it's like you both, I feel, want the same things here. Like it's like just wanting things to be smooth, wanting things to like not not have any problems, not have any stress or worries here. I think you both kind of want that um, here. But I feel the the friction here with you, the conflict that you may be feeling is like I, I think that you don't really want to hide from this because it's like almost like you have this awareness that it's like yeah it's like i'm running away and maybe it does kind of smooth things over but it is building here as well so it's like yeah it's like two sides right i don't know this is up to you whatever you want to do with this energy i'm just telling you where it's heading um in this energy right Okay, so I'm going to clean this up and I'll be back for the second part. Okay, so uh, now we're going to see if you're dealing with other energies. Um, how are they thinking and feeling towards you? So we will start with fire. We could be dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. See what they're thinking and feeling towards you. for that three it came out weird it was like half three of pentacles ah okay okay so they see you as somebody that knows what they're doing like that they're aware of what they're doing um whatever it is that you're doing um with other people so their perception of you is whatever it is that you're doing whether it's at work or you're just you know in a group setting um they think that you know what you're doing. <laughs> I know that's weird, right? But um, it's, that's just what I'm getting here. Is that they see you as somebody that whatever it is. Um, that it could be also you're doing these things because you're trying to figure something out. Uh, 
that there is an aspect to it of I'm I'm doing these things because I'm trying to you know I just want to get more experience in something so I can get more information or something like that. Um, it seems very thoughtful the energy, so it's like like if they. Th there's this yeah four cups <laughs> okay so yeah i i think that if you're hanging out with people or in group settings the way they're perceiving you is that you're just there for the experience or something that you don't really give a shit i'll put it that way i'll be blunt because this is a blunt energy um they're perceiving you as yeah whatever it is that you're doing with other people you you don't really feel emotionally attached to it you're kind of emotionally detached from it and you're just there you're just there to learn some things you're not there to create bonds with these people because they're out with their pentacles right they're not even cups that is their perception of you i don't know if it's true or not right how are they feeling um they feel like things will work will we'll go in the direction that they're supposed to go in that things i'm getting time that things will work out in time that things will happen in time whatever that means what is that the fortune is quite it is quite a powerful energy it is like an energy of destiny you know roll of the dice here yeah it is with their feelings feelings it can be your feelings too uh, sharing feelings okay i see here um three of cups the queen of sword queen of swords queen of swords is here queen of cups okay this queen of cups is probably you um it's like they feel i'll just you know when the time is right when the stars align kind of thing um they feel emotions will be shared feelings will be shared they're not trying to force any of that i get here they're not trying to force any sort of i tell you how i feel you tell me how you feel i don't feel that here at all they're just kind of like you know when the time is right then it'll happen if it's going to happen it's going to happen if it's meant to be it will be this is how i'm getting their energy this is how they're feeling they might be quite spiritual as well because i'm very drawn to the way her hands are and how she's just kind of surrendering to the energy surrendering to the universe this person is surrendering um is what i get they're they do have very good intentions very positive intentions they all i see is somebody just wants the best very positive intentions here um they want the truth to come out they want everything to be known uh, I don't know if that's possible <laughs> to be honest this feels a little impossible but um uh it's not it doesn't come with ill intentions um just give me one for the sun because it's kind of weird oh yeah look at that king of swords okay so on some level this person does feel like well it's not even that they feel that way there is a divine couple here I mean, you have the Queen and King of Swords. Very thoughtful energy. I think... I feel like whatever it is that you're thinking, they are probably thinking somewhat similar. Like, in a similar line. Because it's very... It's interesting here, because there's a dynamic here where, yes, this person is, is feeling very intuitive, right? You know, surrendering to the universe and all that. But also, there's a logic to this as well, which seems like it doesn't mix. But it kind of works in this energy. It's working in this energy here. So there's something about that here. Maybe they kind of want to maybe... With some of the truth that they want to come out is that they've known that you both know things that it's it's like this is what we've known all along or something like that i don't know this is this is it's a small like it's small and contained but there's a lot here it's interesting but i don't really see anything like happening here in the near future it just seems like a lot of oh, we'll just kind of if the time's right then you know things will happen if they happen all right so we'll just kind of kind of stick a pin in this and see kind of what goes on there and there's not much to do with that at least um with those energies 
All right, water energies, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I don't know why I always forget water energies. Like it's it's not like I forget, it's just it doesn't like roll off the top or something. I don't know. The other ones are like, yeah, they do. Well, sort of. I don't know. Fact. <laughs> yes, Alice, drop all the cards. Well, yes, I see here. This is probably a new energy, um, a new person, new connection here. Um, it, it doesn't have to be, um, but it seems it feels more that way. Um, this is somebody here that see who thinks that you have a lot of potential, that this has a lot of potential to grow into something that could be long lasting that it can last a while that you know it could become something where you the two of you are get very comfortable with each other very familiar intertwined in each other's lives that type of shit um yeah they i, I feel like they want to make a move here towards you um they feel like they want to offer you something you know flirt with you ask you out you know they have that those feelings there you know they feel affection towards you that they want to express in some way i don't know how but that's how they feel they feel some sort of expression of love towards you um they they I'm getting like they felt some sort of chemistry here between the two of you. You know, there's something, some sort of chemistry that they felt here. I don't know if that, if you felt the same, if it's reciprocated or not, but from their energy, they're, they're feeling it. Um, Six of Swords is interesting because I don't know what they're getting away from. There's some sort of situation that they're dealing with that they intend to get away from. I'm going to get away from it. It doesn't feel attached to you. It Honestly, it feels like another relationship. It feels like there's some sort of turbulent relationship that they have with somebody else. And now that they've met you and they see the potential in you that they they intend to get away from whatever that situation is tell me more about the six of swords i just want to know one energy for this i just want to know what they're trying to get away from so, okay well they've held back on trying to get away from this for some time they've been working up the courage to get away from whatever this is it's not really telling me what it is which tells me it's probably different for everyone so i don't know exactly what it is there's something that's turbulent in their life that they're working up the courage that they have been working up the courage to get away from it can be anything it could just be even be like a way of thinking um but that's what they intend to do um it, it does feel towards you you know moving towards you it is kind of slow because boats on water it's not the fastest of transportation right it's being like dragged along by birds here like how fast is that like this is, like how are those birds even helping <laughs> like, i don't know i think i feel like you need a lot more birds that's that's a big boat so i don't know whatever it is that they're trying to get away from it feels not that it's massive, but it's, uh, it's been taking a while. Uh, I think it's been going on before they met you. This feels like it's been going on before they met you. Okay, um, air, if you're dealing with other air energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
see how they're thinking and feeling towards you. I'm not sure that this energy trusts you, but I don't think you trust them either. Um, they see you as somebody, they think that you're pulling the strings here. That you are doing some sort of manipulation, whether you are or not, I don't know. But they see you as somebody here who feels like, like they think that you are, you're the one that's making things happen. You know, you're the one that's kind of controlling things here um they feel like they need to be on their guard here with you i do feel they're a little bit tired of this as well um like they've expended a lot of energy with this you know maybe a lot of energy with you and what's been going on the situation here i do see they kind of intend to just it does seem like they want to run away from this um, without even telling you. They just kind of want to dip here. Um, they don't really kind of know what they're doing, though. Um, like, not really. It's like... <sighs> this is like somebody here... If, if we're talking about, like, social media and all that, like, this is like somebody here who... It seems like they're not around, but they are. Like, they... Like, uh, what do you call it? Like, invisible mode or something like that. Like, this is somebody that's, like, they're there. Like, they're, like, like, like stalking your social media. But, like, they don't leave any traces. Like, they look at your Instagram, but they don't, like, they, they, they maybe they go on somebody else's account or something. Or they don't, like, like anything so you can't tell that they were there. So it's kind of like they intend to sort of appear like they're not there. But that's not really the case. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this person, they just, they've got their guard up here with you. They are pushing all their emotions, whatever those emotions may be, um, down here. They just kind of don't want to deal with their emotions anymore towards you. It's just, it's a lot of work for them right now to deal with these emotions right now. So they're not, they're just like, I don't want to deal with them here. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, tower, tower in the moon. It's too much here to deal with. So whatever it is that you're doing, I, I don't think, I, I mean, I don't know what it is that you're doing, but whatever it is that you're doing, um, this person, it, it affects them emotionally and they just can't deal. They just can't deal with you anymore. But it appears that way, but they're actually watching you. Okay. Earth, earth energy. So if you're dealing with Earth energies, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, how are they thinking and feeling towards you? I 
I thought something fell and then it didn't and then okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay. Um, well, the way that this person... So... Uh, they think that... I mean, really, they just think that you're fine. I can put it that way. Um, they think that you're getting more in touch with your sort of child side it, it can be like it, i guess i can kind of explain it as somebody who's having like a midlife crisis but not really like they just think that they just see you as somebody who's just out there having fun and with no cares in the world kind of like this is just their perception of you and that you're just you know doing what you want to do kind of acting like a child like you know when we were younger and we were kids we felt like you know we can do anything because you know, no real responsibilities and, you know, just, you know, if you felt like doing something, then you went and did it, you know, within reason, right? Like, if you want to go play with your toys, then go play with your toys. Like, um, yeah, that's kind of how they're seeing you. It's like that sort of childlike wonder here, um, possibly because you've accomplished something. So they, they think that, okay, you must have accomplished something big in your life. And it's like, well, now that's over. Now it's time to, you know, I can just go do what I want to do. You know, I don't have to do, uh, whatever. It's like, I'm going to do what I want to do. Time for me to do that. You know, it's like a blast from the past type of energy acting like how you used to act when you were younger. It doesn't have to be like all the way back when you're a kid, just like, just sort of that youthful energy. They see you acting in some sort of youthful energy because you've accomplished something and that you know it's like celebratory energy it feels like you're partying basically and they see that that's how they're perceiving you um how are they feeling towards you they're trying to decide what to do with their feelings it's not I do want more with this two of wands. Mm hmm. Yes. They're trying to decide if. It's not. They're trying to decide who you are to them. They know how. They know who. How they feel about you. They're trying to decide what to do with those feelings. Right. I see the empress here. Right. They're trying to decide what to do. Like they, they probably feel like you are their divine counterpart on some level. I don't know if it's consciously or not, or if it's just subconscious. It's just like they have these feelings towards you and it's up to them, you know, really what, how they want to act, right? What do they want to do with these feelings? Um, they haven't figured that out yet. They're planning, you know, they're, they're trying to plan what to do next or trying to choose some sort of path here on where it is that they want these feelings to go um or like how they they want it to manifest i guess but until that point they are just going to wear a big fat mask they're not going to show you how they feel not really. I do feel like until then, they're just going to be like, yeah, let's party. Like if you're going out and you're like, hey, let's do this. Let's have fun. You know, th what they intend to do is to is to be that with you to be like, OK, yeah, sure. Like, let's go have fun. Yeah, we'll like we'll tear up the, the town or whatever that is like they're like, I don't know. It, it feels like a very sort of partying type of energy, you know, hanging out, having fun, just doing whatever you feel like doing. It's like their intentions is to kind of join you. I'm getting kind of join you in that, but hiding if they feel anything towards you because they don't know what to do about those feelings yet. They're deciding, they're trying to decide. Um, but so there's just, there's a bit of a fakeness to the, yeah, they, there are, be, they are being fake here. 
um there is a little bit of like they might come across as like oh yeah i'm i'm real happy for you uh, yeah it, it does feel fake because but they're hiding their feelings right and and they don't really know what to do with those feelings all right okay um so that's what i have for you here um air energies so thank you very much for watching you can always check out any of the other readings if you feel drawn to them there could be messages in there for you as well um, but if you enjoyed these readings um i appreciate it if you could like and or share uh helps me do more with the channel if you'd like to be notified when I post new readings you can subscribe and do the whole notification bell thingy there <laughs> to be um, notified when i post new readings up i try at least once a week right um but yeah that's what i got here so take care i hope you have a happy holidays if that is something that you celebrate and we're gonna move on all right earth energies could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We'll see what's coming towards you. Okay, let's see what is coming towards you. Nine of Wands. Uh, hmm, okay. Hold on. Ah, uh, busy, busy, busy. You have, yeah, things are gonna get busy here with you, with people. You might have a hard time deciding who you want to hang out with. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. There seems to be a lot that's going on, a lot that demands your energy here. So you may be feeling exhausted, like physically exhausted, running around, like literally running around here, there, and everywhere. I, I mean, I understand it's the holidays that seems kind of like, well, duh, Alice. I'm like, yeah, well, it's here, okay? Um, I'm just a reader, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Um, it seems to be more about socializing, you know, running around to see these people, to see those people. I feel you have a lot of options. There's a lot of people um, running around to see. Now, I do see that you have this sort of inner wisdom. I do feel you can handle it. Um, I think that's something that you need to remember. Like, just, I feel like that's sort of almost the purpose of this reading here is to remind yourself that with the hermit here, you know what's best. Because I feel you might have some issues choosing who to hang out with. Um, you know, trying to make sort of those decisions. Like, she's like, hmm, like, I have a lot of options. What do I want to pick? Which one's the right one? You have the answers. You know which one's the right one. Just take some time to yourself. You know, go within and figure that out because you will be able to figure it out. You have the experience, the wisdom. Like, let's say you have, like, three different friend groups and they all want to hang out with you for new year's eve but you know there's only one new year's eve you can only you know pick one so it's like okay okay how do i want to do it okay i hung out with this group last year how was that was i happy you know did it or was it a drag and if it was a drag it's like hmm, i don't know do, where do they want to go do they want to go here do i feel like going there is it going to be difficult for me to get to is it going to expend a lot of my energy am i going to be tired by the time i get there what about going back home afterwards like all of these things i think you have all the information that you need you just need to take some time to yourself and figure it out for yourself. I would also uh, try not to let other people influence you because you you know, you can figure this out on your own. You don't need people to tell you or give you advice or you know what they think. You don't need to hear what other people think because you already know. You've already you've known. You do know. So I think that you. It's just that this tired energy that's the thing here it's like i'm so tired i don't even want to deal with it is what i'm getting so just keep in mind that you know just take a break take a break to figure it out when you can um and you can you can figure this out yeah i get i mean there's new beginnings here um 
this is indicating to me that if it if it is like resonating with you around this time, it could be some sort of birthday, anniversary, New Year's, you know, something, you know, some sort of start, a beginning here as well. Okay, I mean that seems just pretty, honestly, pretty clear. It doesn't seem bad. It's just exhausting. All right, let's see what's going on around you. Um, the environmental energies around you. This could be somebody that you're dealing with. Their energy um, could be attached to you. Could be a past person, current, or future. Let's see what this energy is like towards you. Sorry. Saw something that made me laugh. Well, not laugh, smile. Okay. Um. Let's see, environmental energies. Ooh. Hmm. So we'll start here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you, this energy seems to be kind of fun. There's a lot of fun energy here. Now, I don't, I don't see right now, sort of in the current energy, I don't see some sort of like commitment. I don't like try not to get that twisted with this energy because it is new. It is a new connection or there's something new about this, the new feelings, new feelings here. Um, but this is a very fun, casual energy, okay? Um, interesting. Hermit. They may also have Virgo energy, Virgo Aquarius here. Um, yeah, this seems to be new feelings are, are, are coming up for this person. Here could be a new connection here. Um, they seem to have put some, I'm getting some bullshit aside here. It's like, you know what, there's something that they've like, you know, I'm gonna like move away from something here. Um, it feels, I don't know, I'm gonna have to, I'll, I'll, I'll look into that in a second. Um, yeah, trying to move away from something that has been rocky, I guess is the best way I can say rocky a little bit destructive i think um in order just to get free of that it's like i don't think it has to do with you though <laughs> yeah i told you destructive right yeah there's something that was going on that they're like i just need to get away from it i don't think they're really dealing with it um, it's just, I just need to break. I just need to temporarily get away with it. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's a very casual energy. It's like this energy kind of sees you as, you know, hey, let's just get, let's just hang out and have fun. I don't want to, you know, this, I don't want to think about this. Whatever this represents to this person, I don't want to think about this. I'm just going to like, yeah, it's, it's there. It's always there. It hasn't gone anywhere, but it's like, don't really want to deal with it right now. Just kind of want to like you know, be free of that for a little bit here. Cause this, the six of swords feels like a very temporary energy. I just want to get away from whatever this destructive energy is. Um, so I can just have fun and be free for a little bit here. I do see here with the hermit and the star, I think that they are aware that they need to heal. I think it's, it's, there is some sort of, um, like I'm getting like, I know here with the hermit. The hermit is like, yes, I know. I know I need to take some time out to heal. But in this energy right now that's around you, that's not what they're looking for. They're just looking to have fun. They just want to have fun with you right now. Um, yeah, they're just looking for something casual, something fun here to sort of take their mind off of whatever this bullshit is here. So like, I mean, just take it for what it is, you know, take this energy for what it is. It can be new or it can just be somebody who, you know, 
new new feelings here you know somebody who maybe approaches you and is like hey you know do you want to like do this <laughs> with me or something do you want to like you know go to this this bar this restaurant or do you want to like go do something here with me and like try not to like I wouldn't I wouldn't look too deeply into that because it just feels like yeah they're trying to run away from something and they just kind of want to change their mind for a bit and they know that they will have to deal with it that they will have to heal but this is also part I guess of their healing process as well Okay, let me see your energy towards this. Careful that you don't get triggered by something here. Like I said, like deal with it for what it is. Um, try not to put like expectations or something on this here. Um, you know, it's not you, right? This person or whoever this, whatever this energy is, they're dealing with other things. You know, yeah. Oh, okay. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, I just, you know, where this energy is right now, you are moving slowly towards this tower here because I feel it's starting to trigger you here and you're starting to blame yourself for something here. Like I said, be careful with this energy. This energy, it's not... I don't feel like their intentions are bad. I just feel it's a little misguided in some way here. I don't feel like they're in intentionally trying to use you or anything like that. There's just some things that they just want to get away from for right now. Don't, I, I would try not to look at it as, you know, what you don't have, right? Because I'm, I'm getting like there's this energy here that you could be feeling triggered by this. Um, that it's digging up some old wounds or opening up some old wounds here. And that you may start to feel bad, sad here. And if that continues, it's like a slow sort of... Um, what do you call it? Slow sort of uh, direction towards something blowing up in your face. Don't get it twisted. Don't get this energy twisted here. It's for, for what this is right now. Sure, I do feel they have some feelings for you. They care with that Ace of Cups. You know, they do care. There is some deeper feelings there, but they're dealing with some shit right now and they just kind of want to have fun. Don't, I, I would, I would strongly advise against looking too much deeper into that. I mean, you don't have to take my advice, right? You know, do what you want to do, <laughs> you know, take, take things that resonate and all that. But I'm just seeing here that your energy is not heading towards a good place in regards to this energy that's around you. The energy that I feel, the energy that is around you, I don't feel like it has bad intentions. Uh, it's like it never said it was going to stay. It never said it was going to stick around. It never said it was going to commit, things like that. So it's like, so don't, like, I feel like try not to to put that upon it like try not to get it too twisted i'm sorry i feel like i'm being preachy i don't mean to be but i can feel what's here and it's just i don't want to see your energy go towards this this you can see it almost like a warning here right because i just see you being really hard on yourself here you know, because they want to be single or whatever. They want to be free and independent. It's not you, it's them, right? And they know they need to deal with some shit here. They're not dealing with it. So it's not, I mean, it's not you, right? Uh, just, just be careful. That's all I'm saying here, okay? You don't want to end up in this tower. Um, you know, the thing is, as I feel, you probably will. I'll be, I'll be real with you. I think you probably will. <laughs> because towers, when they show up, um, usually they happen uh, in one way or another. They're already there, 
the writing is already on the wall there. But this tower, especially in this deck in particular, um, it's all about surrendering to me. This feels a lot about surrendering. Like it, it, something like might blow up in your face, but it might be good that it blows up in your face so that you can see what is really happening here. You know, so you can see, you know, what's really going on behind here. I mean, they have a tower too, right? You do have this mirroring energy that's going on. You're, you, you have, uh, you have some experience and some wisdom within you, so do they. They're going through some shit, and then you may go through some shit as well. It's just... It's like you're going through similar energies, but at different times. And of course, they're kind of different, right? They're different, like dealing with different situations. But the sort of feelings are sort of similar. You're just in different sort of timelines. Because I feel this tower, then you will get to this energy where, okay, you know, I don't want to deal with this tower right now. I just want to be free from it for a little bit before I do what I know I should be doing, which is healing. Because what comes after the tower is the star. And that's what's going on here, right? We have 16, 17. Tower, then the star. The star is once the dust settles, we can, you know, we can kind of assess what, where we're at. And, you know, once, once everything is gone, I mean, there, what's left here is, well, what do we want to do now? Where are we going? Um, you know, hope and all that. So, I mean, it's not like all bad. I'm just saying that uh, just be aware of this energy here. Be aware of where it's heading here. Because it does seem, because I, I'm only reason I'm saying this also is because the Knight of Pentacles is here. It's a very reliable energy. It usually gets to where it's going. That's why I say, I'm like, this tower probably is very likely to happen um, here, but perhaps the reading were here. So you kind of get where it's coming from. And maybe that might help you um, if and when this arrives. Because I do feel there's a surrendering, surrendering aspect, you know, fire. I get a lot of fiery energy here. The tower is Aries energy. Um, it, it's <laughs> fire is cleansing, but it is not the most. Uh, what's the word? Uh, it's not very kind in how it does it. Yes, it gets the job done, but it can be quite. It can be quite an experience. You know, cleansing things by fire is very extreme and intense right it's like it's not like just washing something with some water right some, with some soap and water it's like no it's like when you really want to get rid of something it's like yeah you set that bitch on fire but it's like well i mean it's very intense and in your face and then what's left is like nothing like there it, like it is gone it is set on fire it is gone and you have to kind of you know deal with picking up the pieces I do feel it's cleansing and healing. It's just eh, intense, intense. It can be intense. All right, so I'm going to clean this up and we'll be back and we'll do the second part of the reading. Okay, so we're going to see, um, you know, if you're dealing with energies, how are they thinking and feeling towards you here? So we'll start with fire. So if you're dealing with Perhaps Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What are they thinking and feeling towards you in this energy? Busy, busy, busy. They think you're busy. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So, they think you're kind of busy, that you're, you know, things are moving pretty fast for you. Um, lots going on uh, with you in your life. That's how they're perceiving you. They do, they, they're, the feelings that they have towards you, um, 
there's something that it's like they know this feels right um something feels right to them there's sort of there is this intention of wanting to sort of like perhaps couple up in some way or just like come towards you some sort of it can be reconciliation energy um you know wanting to partner up in some way here so they do have this intention of you know i want to you know be with you in some way and however that is here yeah because they feel things are right they just see you that you're busy right now <laughs> okay you're pretty busy right now that's just what they think but there is that intention okay fine that's pretty straightforward to be honest uh water um energies if you're dealing with cancer scorpio pisces what are they thinking and feeling towards you? Do you sort of? Okay, that's okay. Mm hmm. I just need one for that page. Yeah, so again, these energies are seeing you as somebody who is moving, right? Um, they see you as somebody, like they think that you're just having fun here, that you're very curious about things and you want to go towards them. You know, you're determined to find out something here about it. You know, you're determined to see what that's all about. You know, it's kind of like that curious type of energy. <laughs> I don't know why, like, I'm getting, like, you know, you know, people are driving by and there's, like, a car wreck and everybody has to, like, kind of see what's going on. Um, they kind of feel like you're kind of like that. Um, you know, curious, very curious energy, but not just, like, Oh, you know, I, I'm just, th I'm just interested in that, like, but actually pursuing that curiosity. So they see you as somebody who's pursuing the things that you're interested in, um, doing something about it here. Um, they have some sort of like secret feelings here towards you. Um, like they have feelings towards you that they haven't shared with you and they don't intend to share those feelings with you. Um, but I do feel they care about you. They, yeah. They probably love you on some level here. You know, they want the best here for you, but um, they do not intend to tell you that. They don't intend to show you that at all. They're, they're not sharing that. Um, however they feel towards you, they're not sharing that um, opinion here. Uh, they don't intend to. Would they want to? Maybe. But I don't see that they probably are. Okay. Um, I do feel they see you going towards probably more relationships as well. There's also that. This was under the chariot here. So it's like maybe you're you're out there and you're dating or you're curious about dating and then you go do it and you are doing it. And that's kind of how they're seeing you. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but they see you as kind of going after the things that you love. Um, the things that you have some emotional attachment towards it's like i you know it, it's like it's like if you see something you're like oh my gosh i love that like i would love to do that and then you go do it that's how they've seen you you're like if you've expressed any sort of interest in something and you're like i would love to go do that i'd love to go see that i'd love to you know try that out then they they see you as somebody they think that well you're gonna go do it you say you yeah because you have some sort of love towards it um, okay. Anyways, air, air energies. If you're dealing with air energies, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's see how they're thinking and feeling towards you.
Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, they think you're fine. They think that you've got things handled. They think that you're good. They see you as somebody that got their shit together. Um, somebody who does things for themselves that it doesn't really, you know, doesn't really need anything. See, like how she's sitting here and I'm very drawn to the forest background. It's like very calm, very peaceful. It's like you're at peace. They see you as somebody, but whether that's true or not, they just see you as somebody who, where you're at in your life right now, they think that you seem to be okay with things. You got a handle on it, basically. Um, their feelings were tricky because a lot of energies were, were trying to pop out, but they didn't quite pop out. Um, there, something isn't quite clicking here in their feelings. It's not you, it's them. Uh, it definitely is them. I did see the, the devil pop out here with the eight of pentacles in reverse. It's like, they're trying to distract themselves away from their feelings. Um, I don't really, yeah, what, what is that? It's, it feels like it's to save face or something. It's like they're waiting for time to go by because I also saw the wheel of fortune pop up as well. It's like they're just distracting themselves from their feelings until things like, yeah, they do feel very pressured here. Oh, he still it's not really telling me why. Hmm. Like there's a lot of different things that are popping up here. Yeah, there's just a lot of time waiting for time here. This is what I should be doing here. <sighs> It's like they know it's risky as well. It's like they feel it's risky to wait on things here, to distract themselves, to just not put any effort here. It's like they feel like that can be risky as well. Um, but there's something here, something that they really believe in. Like they really believe they need to sort of let things play out perhaps. Even if it's like even if it takes a toll on them, this does feel like it is them. Like I said, it's them. It's not you. It's definitely not you. Um, this person has some shit to deal with. Mm. I don't know what they just feel like if they kind of leave it alone, that something's going to happen. This is what they believe. They believe that if they leave it alone, something is going to happen. Something is about, something's got to give here. Okay, fine. They they don't they're not putting much effort though in the uh, it is a risk. Um their intentions uh like it's weird, it's like they don't want to put in the effort, but they want all the reward. So I don't really know how that's going to work out for this energy for this person, like that's not how things work. You, it's like they expect the universe to just hand shit to them for some reason. Here. Like, they see you as somebody that has a lot of, like, potential to be, you know, a good partner. Like, an ideal partner. It's just, you know, and their intentions towards you don't seem to be, like, bad, but they're also not doing anything. It's, I just get this energy, like, they're just expecting shit to fall into their lap. It's like, okay, I did my part by, I don't know, existing? And now they're just kind of like, you know, I made a wish, so my wish, you know, I'm just gonna wait for my wish to come true. I don't know, it's very passive energy. I'm like, okay, whatever. Fine, it's their, it's their problem. Okay, um, earth energy, if you're dealing with Earth energies, like yourself here, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, see what they're thinking and feeling towards you. Hmm. Okay. Um, this person thinks that you're 
kind of idealistic here. You got your head in the clouds with something here. Um, I don't know if, what. What is that? What is this? Hmm. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. It's their perception, right, of your energy. Their perception is they think that you're being a little bit too daydreaming about something like wishful thinking that's it that you have too much wishful thinking for somebody to come back to you that it's like there's somebody here that you know they fucked up maybe they did something maybe they um treated you in a way like played some mind games or something here um and that like you're wishing that they're going to come back here with roses in hand after they left or after you left or something like that like this person thinks that you know you've got like your thumb up your ass or something that, that you're just for some reason you're you just wishful thinking that this is gonna happen i don't know i don't know what this is i don't know what the situation is i don't even know if it's true or not it's just their perception of you um, they could just think that, that this is what you would think in general if it's not even happening that they would just think oh yeah that you're the type of person that would would be wishing for this i don't know why that's coming up here it seems to be with their limited experience with you they, i don't know how much this person knows you they feel like they know you they feel like they know you pretty well with that ten of pentacles they feel very familiar with you they could be family or somebody that feels like family, close like family. They do feel like they know you are well. They might not know the exact situation that this is, but they feel like they got like they got enough information here, like that yeah. They have enough to build on to sort of come to some sort of assumption here about you. Okay, whatever. Um their uh, their intentions are they're not gonna sit idly by. I don't know what they're gonna do here. Um They are making plans to do something here again making plans to do something here they could be trying to uh making plans to give you some sort of love offer here um i don't know what that means what that is uh, okay something that i feel they've been sitting on for some time they've been sitting on some sort of feelings here They're still trying to figure out how they want to play it. Okay. <laughs> you know, this doesn't always have to be a bad thing either. This could be them, you know, maybe they think, oh, that you're hoping that they'll do this. I don't know. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> that's what I have for you, Earth Energies. So thank you for watching. Uh, you can always check out any of the other readings if you feel drawn to them. There could be messages in there for you as well. If you enjoyed these readings, I appreciate it if you can like and or share. Uh, if you'd like to be notified when I post new readings up, you can also hit subscribe in the whole notification bell thingy. Um, and hopefully it will notify you when new readings are up. Um, but that's what I've got here for you today. So thanks again. Uh, take care and happy holidays if that is something that you celebrate um so uh that's it here for today uh i don't really okay wait do i have anything to share with you well okay so we'll be finishing the the 12 days of christmas taramis that will be coming up and finishing there um they're kind of like pre-recorded sort so yeah they'll just be showing up um as for anything that's to come I, I mean the readings will be less of course because we won't have the the collective type of readings so there will be this reading uh, basically once a week um basically until the new year um there might be some other readings that show up there really depends if I have the time and energy um so i'm not gonna promise anything there um still trying to figure some things out for the new year really so i'll probably more take that time um to do that anyways i feel like it's a bit of a downtime you know between 
Christmas and New Year's. Um, so, you know, knowing me, I say that I won't do something or that I'm not sure about something and then there'll be something that shows up. So anyways, <laughs> enough of my rambling. Um, thank you again uh, for joining me and watching. I hope that you found something uh, insightful or useful here or if not, then I hope that you know, you you found some sort of entertainment here in some way. Uh, you got to look at the pretty pictures or I don't know, <laughs> something along the lines there. Um, I hope that everybody has a good, cheerful holiday season, if that is something that you celebrate, or just the end of the year, right? Um, I hope that these last few weeks of 2023 um either <laughs> they're okay or you're just like okay can we just get 2023 done and over with um because if that's how you're feeling well okay we're almost done right could be a sigh of relief there all right um <laughs> enough of my rambling <laughs> i hope you have a good day or good night wherever you are uh take care and be well and good luck and I will talk to you later. Bye.